Oh, welcome back everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We have just finished our fifth dungeon, the Snow Peak Ruins. And yeah, we, we probably got to go to Telma's bar to figure out where we need to go next. But yeah, we do have a new dungeon item, so we should probably go around uh, finding where we can use said dungeon item and get a few more collectibles. This shouldn't, this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, there's only a few things we need to collect before we have to like move on. But one of them is a mini game that I'm not too keen on. And I'm pretty sure a lot of others also dread this mini game as well. So we'll do that a little later. Um, let's go to North Hyrule Field. There is... I don't need those rupees. <laughs> there is a cave. A cave of wonders. Um, we saw a lot earlier in the game. We could have bombed it, but inside is an ice puzzle, so... Couldn't really do anything about it quite yet until we acquired the ball and chain. Hello, these little bones. Murdered you. For no reason. I didn't even need those rupees. But I uh, know you're coming at me kind of menacingly. The cave should be around here where we found a little bug way, way back. Here it is. I think we could just... Can we use a ball and chain like, like a bomb? Yeah, it, it functions like a bomb. Well, at least we don't have to consume our bombs that often anymore. Here we go. Secret cave. Some sort of structure. I mean, we have like the Hylian Royal Crest. We have weapons in here. Swords and axes. We also have that weird crest that was in the Snow Peak Ruins as well. So this might be some sort of like storage facility that's outside their main base. Alright, and we got lovely, lovely black puzzles. <laughs> Three rooms of them, it looks like. It's gonna all ramp up in difficulty. Probably each time. Ow. I did this. And I do this. Push that there. And... Need to move it a little bit more. <laughs> right, so I don't need this block anymore. Push it like that. There you go. Into the center. That one wasn't too bad. <laughs> Next way is open. Now things are gonna be a little bit more complicated. Things aren't as... as straightforward. Ooh, there's two. <laughs> there's two blocks. There's uh, two switches we need to hit. Hmm. So where do I want to place this? Gotta use my noggin here. Sometimes my noggin doesn't work. Alright, so we got one of them. Now, now what? That might not be the answer, though. Okay, I reached a... a conundrum. I cannot hit this switch unless I move that one out of the way. <laughs> I'm just hoping I don't like hit some circular logic here where I'm just like pushing everything back to where it was. Okay, so I don't need this block anymore. Do, do, 
do. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Did I hook that up? I don't know. I don't think a lot of this doesn't seem like it's supposed to go here. <laughs> Wish I had a box. Um. Like that? I can just push it into the other corner and then be good to go? I think that's the answer. Alright, that one's solved. How about this one? Okay, there's only one switch this time. Create barricade with with blocks. Okay, that's where it needs to be. I don't need either of these, I don't think. Uh, I could just leave this one here, actually. <laughs> no, I can't leave it there. It's not. It's not. It's not the correct spot. Here we go. Okay. Now I don't need this one anymore. Question mark. No, I can only take it this way. This way. And, okay, I think we did it. That one wasn't so bad <laughs> compared to the previous rooms. <laughs> do 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 and inside is a chest. All that crazy puzzling gets us a piece of heart. Just need two more for another full heart container. Okay, just like all this like, all this, all this puzzle for just one heart piece. They really wanted to protect that heart piece. I don't know, maybe there's more. There's more things in that room, but everything else was just taken. Uh, can I warp out of here? No, I cannot. It's technically a building. Okay, let's get out of here. And it's time to warp back up to Snow Peak. Um... Hmm, I wonder where I should go first. There's actually a few things I should probably check out in Snow Peak. Uh, like on the Snow Peak trail, like in particular, there were some instances where we needed we needed to be able to have the ball and chain to be able to get rid of the ice, but like we didn't have it at the moment, so it's kind of like tough luck at the like at the time. Alright, we are not going up to the top. We are backtracking. Open that up. Thank you, Minda. You have a big hand on your head, too. Let's go down here. Here we go. Got this room. With all... All the ice. Uh, there's a torch there. But what we really want <laughs> is a postal that's hiding in the ice. Ta-da! Got a postal. Click one from each Poe you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. That's what postal number forty-nine. We're almost there. Just need eleven more. <laughs> we need eleven more postals. Deku nuts. Okie doke. So, what does this? What does this have? It's probably rupees, which I don't need. So, I should probably leave it, but I don't think I'll really remember that this chest is here later. 
like I did with the woods in Kakariko. <laughs> so I'll pick it up. I'll see what's inside it. For like a lovely 100 rupees or something. Yep, it's 100 rupees. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see, can I backtrack through here? There were a few dig caverns. I think like the first one we encountered down the trail. That's something that we couldn't get. We didn't have any ice. Like it wasn't this one. Like the one by the tree here, I don't think. I mean we could double check. Be sure. Like the one in this tree. I don't think I don't think there was it was just bomb. A bombable uh, rock. That had like a blue chew. <laughs> Which you can pick up again. I mean, I don't really need that soup. But it's there in case you need it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it for now. There'll be other opportunities. Is there anything significant about the other trees? Nope. Ow. Ow. Alright, <laughs> let's keep following the reek fish scent. Well, we still have it. I think eventually we do get rid of this scent, so... You can lose your way through the mountain later. I think it was that tree. Over there. That had a dig cavern. <laughs> okay, yep, here it is. Uh. Oh god. Gotta remember, you have... Alarmingly long range. No, 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 no. Uh oh, spaghettios! Oh, got you on the rebound. Let's get rid of you. That was a close one. It's probably gonna have like another hundred rupees in it. Insignificant <laughs> to my wallet. Oh, it's... Did you run out of breath? And then I can go away after you. Oh no! <laughs> I worked that up. No! Fine. Do what you need to do. Yeah, there's a chest hidden in that one, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I got my sword out earlier. There we go. What's in here? Got another hundred rupees. Oh, that was... Yeah, could have collected a lot of money here. He just had... just had a bigger wallet. Let's see, I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Do do do. Alright, let's warp. Back to the mountain top. Yep. The snow peak. Almost evening too. This <laughs> we could potentially get more pose, and I don't think uh, we're gonna be fast enough to do this in one night. All right, let's do this. Hi, the doggy's back. I'm not a human. Um, ah, uh, you that tasty-looking wolf. Me remember? You want dinner? Uh, no feel like meat tonight. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> By dinner he means us as the dinner. I guess he eats a lot of wolfos up in the mountains. But looks so tasty. Ugh. <laughs> Say the same thing. Uh, by uh We were saved by Yetta's whim. If she if she felt like having meat tonight, then like we were a dead dog. Let's talk to them as people. And uh, let's do a very terrible mini game. Long time, long time since we beat. Uh, 
Why feeling better? Ugh. Nice weather for sleds. You try? Ugh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll sled. We have no choice, really. Well, we do have a choice, but... Ugh. Race home! If I want 100%, I gotta do it. Oh boy, the sun's in my face! Alright, now we're... Racing Yeddo. Now he's kind of slow, but he's bulky, so if he gets close to you, he'll just, uh, he'll knock you down. <laughs> and the race will be over. Now you could, uh, run this normally if you want. You don't have to, like, do any weird tricks. Just make sure you get over the jumps that you need to jump over. However, when you do round two, um, you're you're gonna need to. Ooh, I actually got all the pieces. <laughs> you're gonna need to be able to do um, the secret shortcut, and that might be a little hard because like the camera angles are a little bit weird. So sometimes you can't see uh, where you need to jump. But yeah, we're we're easily outpacing him. Now let's just not slide all weird and. <laughs> Fall off. Do 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 do. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see what's up ahead. And we could we could easily get stuck on this. So maybe I should slow it down. There we go. Don't want to get stuck on an edge. Yay! We win. <laughs> Just hear him laughing in the background. <laughs> you beat Yeto! You good, uh! You worthy sledder! You want rematch? You go back. You go back to Mountaintop, uh! Here, best time of Link, 124. You tried to beat record, uh! It's good time. I love sled, uh! I race any time! Oh. Let's get the fight. Face her next. Alright, I gotta go back up to the mountaintop. Are you gonna let me? <laughs> How far do I have to go? To be able to warp. <laughs> Please? Wish I could just... No. Be dancing. Unless, maybe I can go into the Snow Peak Ruins. Oh, no, I found a way. <laughs> I found a way through. <laughs> Loophole. <gasps> Okey doke. Let's try to turn back to human. Are they back here already? Yep, they're back. You beat husband, uh. You good. You race me, uh? Yeah, I'll race you next. Uh, uh, good. Race to house, uh. Now, Yetta's harder. Um, she's not as bulky as her husband, but I guess she's more aerodynamic. She's not even... She doesn't even have a frozen leaf. Oh, you're, you're so sneaky, girl. Oh, God. Those, those, that laugh is gonna haunt you. Uh, she's a little bit harder because Yetta does use the shortcut that's on the track, so you have to use the shortcut too, if you want to beat her. And yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to use the shortcut, because... Um, yeah, it's just a camera angle. Sometimes I just can't see... Where... Where, <laughs> the steps are. Oh boy, she's right on our tail. Do, 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 to go up here. There should be... Trust the rupees, I guess. Oh, now we gotta turn. Mm. Ugh. Went out of control. I guess I could slow down at the risk of her catching up. Just so I can not fling out of control. Let's try again. Luckily, they dump us back up here. Link, uh, you sled? You raced me? Uh? Uh, uh, good. Raced a house? Uh. Alright. Attempt number two. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. It's probably gonna take me so many attempts that I have to like cut it out or something. 
do 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 bum 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 do do snot fall in the bridge oh god she just killed a bat whoop did i make that jump whoop oh no she's right there i don't want to crash into her All right, trust the rupees. Trust the rupees to guide us. No! Oh my god. It's a weird slope. It just like turns me. All right, is third time the charm? <laughs> well, these don't they don't ask for money for this mini game. That's something. Could I hit her? Uh, I, I'm assuming this is meant for the bats. I don't think it's meant to hit her. Now the bats don't really go after us. That I've seen. I don't know, they could. They could get a lucky shot on me. Oh, I think I missed the slope, that's fine. Just don't crash to a tree, question mark. Ah, she's on our tail. Oh, no! I somehow got back on track, but she's ahead of us. I made the jump this time! <laughs> She's on her ass, though! I- I need to slow down or else I'm gonna- I'm gonna get stuck. No! She- <laughs> uh, We lose, but we did the jump! <laughs> Yetta wins! Ah, uh, no sad face, uh. You race again? Yes. Great, uh, we meet back at top. Please warp me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> giggles in the back. We need girly giggles. <laughs> was that? That was like some weird line and like. Thumb Wars, a really strange spoof movie of Star Wars. It's like, I don't take money, I only take girly giggles. It's like, what? <laughs> you heard me. What the heck? How did I get that 50 rupees? Uh, do I trust the rupees? Trust the rupees! Don't go flinging! Oh no! <laughs> we got an okay lead! I think. Now let's not get greedy. I've seen so many people get stuck on like a corner. You bastard! <laughs> what? You rubber banded! <laughs> I'm gonna have all the sad faces! You rubber banded towards the end! I've seen so many- like, I know like I slowed down a little bit. But that's just so I wouldn't get stuck, because I've seen so many people, and I've done this too, get just stuck on the edge. And then she just beats you. I wanna probably should have taken that, but oh well. The tree slowed me down, oh no. What? Go, 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 go! Get a lot of money from this.
Oh god, I'm getting a little bit out of control. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Alright, we're on the bottom track now. Oh, she's right on my tail, she's right on my tail, she's right on my tail! Don't you dare rubber band! Don't you dare rubber band! <laughs> we did it! Oh god, I hate that! <laughs> I hate this race! Link, you good! Uh, I overconfident, maybe. You slimmer than husband, uh. Hmm, maybe that your secret. You aerodynamic, uh. So, so weird that you know that word. <laughs> you take this as token of respect for sled skills, uh. We got a piece of heart! We just need one more for another full heart container. And no tell husband. Oh. We sharing, we sharing that love with Yetta. Ooh. You come back and nice anytime, uh. Hey, Yetta, your wife. <laughs> I shared some heart with your wife. Alright, uh, I'm done. <laughs> we are done with Yetis forever. <laughs> So now, I think the objective, yeah, the objective is back inside Castle Town. We gotta figure out where to go next. Let's warp. <laughs> yep, and that's all the collectibles too. <laughs> There's a Poe, a Poe and two heart pieces, and now we gotta continue. It's almost night time again. We spent all day sledding. No, oh, just, I, I guess we figured that we'd meet this guy. Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> At least you're in a safe spot in the city. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact. Two? Who else is writing to me? Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! Who wrote? Who wrote to me? Agatha? What? <laughs> I didn't expect a letter from her. Agatha had a dream last night. Butterfly surrounded Agatha and lifted her up to the sky. As she waved to the people below in Castle Town, she could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide-eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field, and the butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. Soon they faded away and she woke up in her own bed. Oh, Agatha wants to so badly to fly in the sky. Is that is this uh foreshadowing? <laughs> what what is this, Agatha? <laughs> All right, I get a reminder that we can give bugs to her, but no, I want I want my my bugs. I don't need your money. Oh, we got a wife. <laughs> we got a wife. We got a letter from Yetta, from the wife of Yetto. I feel bad. You paid me visit, and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots now. Very much fun. Link, you join us at Snow Peak sometime. Oh, how did the how did the postman get this? <laughs> Maybe they just like went incognito and like delivered a letter in like a post box or something near, near uh, Zora's domain. But okay, I guess the Yetis like to deliver mail too. Alright, we already did this though. <laughs> Just telling us that we can sled sled with them. Okie doke. Thank you, Mr. Postman. Now it's time to go to the bar. It's almost night time. Not a lot of people out in Castle Town. Let's get to the bar. Where is everybody? Jeez. <laughs> it's like it's not that late at night, is it? Is everyone evacuating? So much uncertainty uncertainty in the town.
Nice to see the postman still there. <laughs> How's that Ilya doing, honey? Same as always. <laughs> I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own thing to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Hey, honey, if you're up in the air about where to go next, maybe you ought to go talk to Russell. He's in Hyrule's southern woods right now, checking out the lay of the land. He's probably really close to home. Maybe he's visiting his wife, his poor pregnant wife. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. And a Shay's back, it looks like. Back from the mountaintop. Link, huh? The Beast of Snow Peak hasn't appeared in Zora's domain since its last visit. In the end, the troubles in Hyrule and the events on Snow Peak were beyond even my imagination. Honestly, there's got to be someone who knows what really happened. Well, Link's not talking, I guess. <laughs> really, Link, you just shared some information with them. Don't feel like a silent protagonist. Did you see the sad state of Hyrule Castle? It's the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to this kingdom as swiftly as possible. Link, please continue to lend us your strength. Alright, and you're, are you gonna still... Would you like to... No, I don't want to hear about Uku. No, thank you. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Alright, let's see where Russell is on the map. I wonder if the sacred grove that Russell mentioned is near this mock. Okay, okay, we can warp really close by there. I'm guessing this is this is a sacred grove over here. Although getting there is a whole nother matter, because you need Skull Kid to lead you through the woods. Alrighty, we're ready to go. Back to the Lost Woods. Maybe Russell has figured something out. Alright, should be safe to warp, I hope. We have a warp really close by here. Yeah. Is Russell? I think that's will he will he attack me if I'm a wolf? Hey, you remember me? Remember when you tried to attack me? Oh, you are scared of me. I like how you're not trying to cut me though, like last time. Shoo shoo! Can you not see this like humanoid creature on my back? Can you like communicate? Alright. <laughs> That's funny, Russell's scared of me. But Ashe wasn't scared of me. Ashe was just like, whatever. Alright, and the link is here. Surprise! A little afro toucan. I don't need any of your wares. No wares from Toucan Burr today. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. <laughs> Say, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. I mean, there was a temple, <laughs> but it was kind of old and dilapidated, but we got the Master Sword out of there. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I am sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, if you take on this task, would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Yes, because I have no choice. <laughs> I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Is it a hawk? It's running on the ground. It's a chicken. <laughs> Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Where did you keep this chicken? 
Well, you'll definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Are you sure about this? I could, I could turn to a wolf and just leap over there. Store the peace. Reclaim the power of this ancient civilization that has slept in the temple for ages beyond count. My partner will definitely get the job done. No doubt in my mind. Give it a shot. I think your partner wants to wander off. Alright. Well, since I guess he doesn't want us to be... <laughs> the game doesn't want us to be wolf Link to get back here, so we have no choice but to use the chicken. What? Is it even take us further than a normal chicken? I think you can actually talk to it too. You're a wolf. Twinkle, twinkle, little cuckoo, I am golden, not for you, oh. What? <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we need the chicken just because uh, one of these bridges here got destroyed? While we were gone! So... Yeah, we need to float over there. There's no trick jumping over there. Although, I don't know, Minna's taken us on jumps that are very similar to that. Alright, don't wander off. I need you. Alright, don't... Don't go anywhere. Don't get blasted off. And it looks like the tight ropes are gone too. Doo -doo. The howling stone, in case you missed it last time, but I don't know why you would, because really literally right in front of your face. Okie doke. I don't think it matters what time of day it is, I hope. Let's return to the forest. I think it's always nighttime in here. <laughs> yeah. Back in the sacred grove. Now we have to- we, ha we had to return here at like a specific time or else the Skull Kid wouldn't be here to lead us through. But this time around there should be a Poe hiding in here. So keep your eyes and ears out. For one, while we're chasing this kiddo around. Okay, Duck, we'll just follow you. You'll come with. And yeah, it looks like more of the ways are open. And we hear him. <laughs> Can I shoot you? <laughs> Take that! Could have used a bomb arrow, but I didn't. Let's follow his lantern. He leaves like a little, a little uh, light leading, leading us to where he is. Oh, there's the Poe right there. Ow. Alright. Time for you to <laughs> time for you guys to go away for the moment. I need I need this. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> That's why I was so apprehensive about just swinging away. Ow. Alright, maybe I aggro you a little bit, a little bit, and towards the middle. No. Uh -oh. This is kind of a sticky situation. Ow. I am targeting so many things on the ground. <laughs> no! <laughs> Please let me grab! <laughs> Alright, we got post all number 50. <laughs> Let's high tail out of here. Just keep following the lantern. Now where do we go now? 
This way? I saw a light over there. There's something here. Ow. Screw you. I kill you. As much as I can kill a puppet. What's over here? Is this money? Most likely more money. Ow, my head. Okay, we got 30 bombs. Ooh. That's, uh, that's generous. Filled up my bomb bag. Do they want me to blow up Skull Kid? It's kind of a excessive. Don't you think, game? Oh. Got friends. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird to see that thing just sliding on in. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything in the water. I really checked. I really had to. Blub blub. No, it's just a really deep pool. But there's nothing in here. Let's get out before we drown. Great. We <laughs> got, got some friends just... They're like bees <laughs> above the water just waiting for us to resurface. Probably be a wolf link to run to run faster, but you down here now? See the light? Follow the light. Oh, this way is blocked. This way? I don't see any light. This way? There he is. I see the lantern. Though, makes me think I should go on that bridge. I like this lantern. <laughs> it, it does nothing. It's not like a secret third lantern anywhere, is there? Nope. Taking me on a wild goose chase here. He is he's here. Alright. We just did we just did a big old circle. He's like, okay, I'm gonna hang out here now. There you are. So very sneaky. Running. He disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, he's in there. Oh, we got another another arena. <laughs> oh, he angry. He stomp his feet. I shot you so many times. That's the only way you would let me progress. Okay. Let's get rid of some of. Did shoot you? Okay. I have to like wait for you to like toot your horn like that. Because I know you could just like disappear on a whim. So you so I can aim. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> 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 Ow. Oh, I already forgot. 
Where is he? Darn. <laughs> Hardy. I don't think I can shoot you like that. You make so many. You make so many. Is my powers up? Where'd you go, you silly Billy? There you are. Oh, third time's a charm. Was fun. I'll tell you what. I'll let you into a secret place. Thank you. Question mark. Lots of arrows. Game knows what we needed. All right, so that's all there is to this little arena here. Kind of take a peek over here. You can see where we first fought the Skull Kid. And there's a uh, there's little spinner rails up there. So we have the spinner now, so we can actually do something over there. We just gotta find our way back to the the first skull kid arena. Alright, let's head over here. Birdies. Drop this down. Will give us a way back up. And we're back here again. The sacred ancient forest. So this is what they were talking about. We're back here again. Oh, we didn't really see anything last time other than the Master Sword. Although this area is new here, the statue block in the way. Okie doke. <laughs> There's a snail here in case you missed it last time. You can grab it grab it here now. Uh, let's head. Is there there should be something here. Hmm, let's actually go to the pedestal. I wanna go to where we first fought the skull kid. Hmm. I don't want to do that quite yet. <laughs> I mean, we could. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's strike it. Let's put the sword back. We're not going to go back in time seven years, are we? Okay, that just activated that statue. The door is open. <laughs> I <laughs> feel like we could have just slipped past that statue anyway and gotten to the door, but okay. Very weird. Statue just disappeared. Here we go. Got a warp point here, so we don't need the skull kid to come back here again. We kind of need this. We don't want to want to rely on the whims of Skull Kid. Alright, I want to be a wolf, because it's easier to take all you guys down at once. How many are you? Five? I'm gonna have to take out a few of you. Did I botch that up? I am attacking all the bats. <laughs> okay, I did it somehow. Was, that was a lot of bats. Now let's return here. And yeah, at this point, um, if you forgot to bob the rock last time and get the Poe and the dig cavern <laughs> that was underneath that was underneath the rock, here's your second chance. And your forever chance to get it now. But we already got it. We got it when we first came here. Um, alright, we can just... I guess we can claw shot up there. Or climb. Eh. 
Now where does this go? To the to the other side. <laughs> I guess just just follow. Try not to bounce off into oblivion. And there's a chest here. Inside this chest, we have the stamp for the Hylian letter X. Alright, that was kind of sneakily hidden. Like, how would you think to come back here? This is, like, probably your first time through through the grove. Uh, you wouldn't really recognize like this as important. You just would have thought it was just the design of the architecture. Unless maybe you kind of noticed these weird like brown rails around Hyrule Field. You're like, what are these for? These seem to be recurring. They're a recurring thing. There's some bees over there. <laughs> I don't remember those bees when I was fighting the Skull Kid. Anything over here? I just like return. I could like wander around the, the lost woods if I want to. Oh, I guess this is the way you get the Poe. And also get lost, so let's be careful about where we go. <laughs> There's no map here. But yeah, I guess if you miss the Poe while you're uh, chasing around. Skull kid, this is where you would you would find it. There's some bee larva. Can I go fishing here? If you think I could get some bee larva and just like go fishing in some ponds. Some ponds in the in the lost woods. Okie doke. So we need one more thing. And not the appropriate time to get it, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of waiting. I'll cut it out. I'll cut out the waiting, though. Uh, you need to head your hiney towards, uh, the pedestal of time, or the pedestal where you found the Master Sword. And we just gotta wait. We gotta wait until night time. Cause surprise, surprise, there's a Poe here. Luckily it's almost night though. The sun's the sun's going down, it's not early morning. So yeah, I'll just I'll be right back one minute and it'll be night time. Alrighty. It's night time. <laughs> well, I took like three minutes of waiting. Rip it out. There we go. We got what? This is number 51, Postal? Yep, Postal number 51. Alright, just, just, just gotta wait at the pedestal of time for a bit. That, one, that one's kind of sneaky, um, actually. <laughs> yeah, like it didn't, doesn't look like there'd, there'd be anything else here other than the Master Sword, so like you just do what you need to do and just go. And plus, you like you don't really come here that often. The game's very selective about when you get to come here. All right, let's finally go through this door. Do I need hands? Looks like I need hands to get through here. This, this is kind of magical, actually. We're here. We're here in the Temple of Time, as we remember it from Ocarina of Time. This is, yeah, kind of amazing when we first come here. You're just thinking, like, like wow, like, they, they took us back. They took us back to Ocarina of Time. Now, let's get one more collectible. There is something on the wall. We got the female snail. Snail fans love that golden color. So yeah, we had to travel far into the past. Where, uh, 
when the Temple of Time still still existed to find the, the female snail. <laughs> I think the description's kind of funny on it too. Then we got the golden body male snail. That <laughs> it was found in the sacred grove. It might actually be a female. And then we got the golden bottle bodied female snail that was found in the sacred grove. Kinda? Not really. We found it in like the Temple of Time. It actually it might actually be a boy. <laughs> so we don't know what the gender of these things are. Are are snails hermaphrodites? Can they be both? Like they hmm. I don't know much about snail ecology. All I all I know is that they have love darts that they shoot at each other to impregnate each other. <laughs> also, we found all the bugs. So we could turn this all into Agatha and she'll give us a nice reward for Giving them all to her. We'll do that. Could do that now. Or could do it later. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Might actually behoove me to, to get it, but... Meh. We'll wait. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, like, use the magic armor while we're in this dungeon. And, I'll, like, we'll end up losing a bunch of rupees and we can get them all back. <laughs> get them all back by turning in bugs. <laughs> Alright. Well, this... Technically isn't the dungeon entrance yet, but I think this is a good place for us to stop. So we'll explore we'll explore the inside of the Temple of Time. In the next episode. Let's save. Yeah, this is the dungeon. <laughs> surprise, surprise, we're already on our sixth dungeon. Save over file two. I mean, we're still in the, still technically the sacred, sacred grove. We'll continue playing. All right. I hope you guys are having a fun time with this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.